Yo, what's going on builders? It's your boy, Bigfoot36 here, coming to another video. And in this video, I have a Bad Batch video. And this is a kind of a way to upgrade your Bad Batch squad. And I kind of did a video, I think, with the uh, modification you got of the ship itself, with uh, just kind of changing out the the uh, blasters. I know I did a video uh, about how these blasters kind of help elevate the figures into a better spotlight but now i have some stuff ladies and gentlemen a lot better stuff uh to help accurately fix each and one of these figures um there's one thing that i'm missing and it is or two a couple of things that i'm missing and it's going to be with the wrecker figure i forgot to purchase those but as you see we have a handful of things here to show off and first we're going to start off with um Echo. As you can see, he's an Aria figure. Um, we'll take off his pistol. And it kind of sucks that they didn't give him a special molded arm. I know they can. He just chose not to. Um, his helmet is just a regular clone trooper helmet that is supposed to be printed to resemble it. But, uh, you know, it doesn't look that good. So, what do we have from this company? This company is called Clone Army Customs. Uh, you guys have seen them on my channel before, and they are absolutely phenomenal. We have three upgrades specifically for um, Echo. And what is that? Well, get rid of this helmet, put on his new one. That looks way better. It is sculpted to match the end universe, it is 3D printed all the way around. And actually, we're new. We're going to visit Tech real quick, and we're going to take his backpack off, because he has a piece that I'm missing. And I kind of messed this up a little bit. Uh, I got the wrong backpack for um, Echo. And so, in my memory, I was correct, but uh, we're going to take off the back piece off of Tech. But um, So, we have a special uh, waist cave cloth, uh, special printed for Echo. And if I... Good. If my hands would work with my brain, it'd be great. Okay, I just had to get it on. And it wraps all the way around. And the problem with Lego's version is it has the printing for the front, but where's the side printing? Well, that's where Lego sucks. And they couldn't even do that for us. That's why Clonery Customs and other third party co uh, companies are significantly better. And here we go. There's a waist cape now for Echo that has his pistol holders, or holsters, not pistol holders, they're holsters. And now, we're going to pop off his, the only person that comes with arm printing, his arm off. And take this one. And now, he has his correct right arm. And the best part is that this is a special molded. This is this is what Clone, Clone Army Customs made for this figure. And they have two variations. They have a dark gray to match their own personal uh, coloration of figures and Lego's version. This uh, would be the pearl, like the dark gray pearl um, version to match the body and whatnot. But look how much better that is um, with the actual Lego body, but upgraded pieces and whatnot. Absolutely phenomenal what uh, Clone Army Customs did in their team. That's that's a standout figure, that's just insane in my opinion. And with that piece in the back, this is supposed to be uh, Wrecker's backpack apparently, which I was unaware of in my memory. I swear this was um, Echo's, but it's supposed to be Wrecker's. Um, but to me that looks pretty solid. Um, Wrecker has a special um, armor set and a new helmet that I'm going to order um, for him and, the, and I have the backpack. Um, but that's a, a story and we, I will um, show you an updated version, uh, maybe like a, make a short video of it. But now Tech. So obviously we know how much Tech's helmet sucks. Um, but first, the upgrade for Tech is this backpack. Custom molded and painted. Absolutely phenomenal. My original mod was to give him a keypad, you know, to type around with. 
But his helmet, look how terrible his helmet is. I mean, yeah, it's cool for what it is. You know, special helmet. But wow, it's just so terrible. He can't even look. Look at that. Look at the range of motion. It's garbage. That's when Clown Army Custom comes in and proves it is superior. He can now look if you wanted. That's, I just want to be gentle. Um, I had one problem is this antenna was uh, weak when I got it. But uh, you can move his helmet. Sorry, you probably can't even see that. Um, you can move his helmet left to right. Um, it's a little tight, so it moves his head also. But his goggles also go down so he can translate like in the, in the actual um, show. But uh, this also comes in two colors. It comes in a white variation, and the figure also comes in a white variation on their personal figure that they made for uh, Bad Batch. Um, but they also had the helmet that matches, and the backup that matches Lego's um, version. So that's awesome. Those are just two simple upgrades. Um, and now we're going to go to uh, Crosshair. We're going to launch over there to the dark side. And... They have a backpack specifically for um, for uh, Crosshair, which is printed. And then my favorite upgrade is a helmet. Um, I think the helmet really takes it a, a step further. Um, it matches the body, you know, just a basic black, black plastic. You can also put a, a blaster there, but the uh, clip for mine is... Uh, it's a little too wide, so that doesn't work, but not that big of a deal to me. It works, but look how much different the uh, helmets are. This is definitely a get out of here kind of helmet. And now we will move to um, Wrecker. For now, I, I un unintentionally made the wrong mistake, but I got the wrong backpack for Hunter. So the armor does not work. This with uh, with Wrecker, not Hunter, with Wrecker, and so it kind of sucks. Um, that's what I can do now, but once I order the correct pieces and the right, correct helmet, it'll be better. So it works for now, um, not ideal. But on to Hunter, um, I'll take that off. He also has a backpack that's special printed, which looks really good, that matches him what he uses and like always let's get rid of this terrible helmet and bring on this new one <laughs> looks way better accurate backpack accurate helmet just the way better figure hopefully you can see that all right hopefully there's not too bad of a glare but that is the um, bad batch figures and upgrades but um, hold on, I'm going to try to adjust some stuff. Hopefully you can see better. But there was also a crosshair figure that I got. Um, the only downside to this, is they did not make a pearl gray, like a dark pearl gray version of crosshair, which sucks. So he doesn't exactly match the rest of the Bad Batch, which I can live with. But look at this figure. This is a, a Brick Arms Blaster, by the way. They did not get their... Um, Get the correct blast uh, sniper for him, but look at him. He is great. Special helmet, which looks amazing. Arm printing, the 360 printing on his legs. Also the backpack to match. Just absolutely gorgeous. He also has some uh, fabric here to match his armor in universe. But holy cow, this figure is phenomenal. He kind of stands out a little different, but I mean, his color doesn't exactly match these guys. I, I don't believe, I can't remember. But overall, looks great. And then, just to show where I finished, I got an updated helmet of Waxer and Boil. I put on the micro, the macros. I probably shouldn't have, so you can see them. I don't have the old version with me currently that's in the other room. Um... The macros do work. Oh, I just broke them. Shoot, be careful guys, I just snapped them in half. Great, that's all right. The new helmet. So the macros are kind of touchy, I realized. Um, so be careful, 
Um, they do work, but as you can see, they're easy to break. So I'll just keep them off for now. And then with that, I got, I think this is Tup, I believe. The 501st new helmet. Gotta drop that also. And I got a uh, Captain Vaughn 501st. So that is the haul and the upgrade for the Bad Batch figures. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry if I didn't, I didn't show you these properly, but I will show you an updated version of Wrecker once I get him. Um, but uh, yeah, overall these are absolutely phenomenal figures, like crazy upgrades. Um, they just really changed the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're new.